The answer to tunneling in highly cast limestone formation is a combination of detailed geological investigation, TBM selection process and ground treatment. Ground treatment such as jet grouting, compaction grouting and fissure grouting will be performed at areas with weak ground strata and to fill cavities. In order to further reduce the incident of blowouts and sinkholes, we have developed the Variable Density TBM. The Variable Density TBM is an extended version of a slurry TBM that is able to use high-density slurry to prevent blowouts of slurry to the surface. The Variable Density TBM can also operate in both EPB and conventional slurry mode. A conventional slurry TBM could experience blowouts of bentonite from underground to the surface when the interconnected cast features find their way to the surface. In extremely cast situations, the conventional slurry TBM could experience loss of slurry into cast features and cavities that result in loss of face pressure. Losing the face pressure will lead to loose soil caving into the excavation chamber and cavities, thus causing a sinkhole to appear on the surface. The principle of the variable density TBM is to use high density slurry to reduce the risk of sinkholes and blowouts. With maximum density in the excavation chamber, Thus, the tunnel face support can range between liquid support in line with the mixed shield and ground paste support of an EPB TBM. The face support pressure in this operation mode can also be controlled by an air bubble as in the mixed shield principle. Material is discharged from the excavation chamber via a screw conveyor, enabling a combination of highly viscous support material and excavated material. To ensure that this material can then be transported hydraulically via a pipeline, it passes through a rotary crusher unit and is liquefied in a slurry fire box by adding liquid.